Nive, real quick, my wife does not have Discord, so I think I'll probably just send her links um, for pairings and the draft and everything. So I want to give you a heads up that I'm, I'm in here for two people. If it affects the numbers and counting and everything. Yeah, awesome, cool, thank you. Yeah, Emily. Do I need an account on whatever site we're drafting on? Okay. Okay. Does someone have a link to the image files for season three? Because I took yeah. the one off. Of... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you, you having the same issues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did this. Hold on. Yes, okay. the the like I just said, the that is outdated. Yeah, that's so what you it have like. to use. Where was I? Oh, it was. Oh, hold on. I gotta find. I gotta go back to the other Discord channel. Or was it the limited chat one from Perrin? Was that it? I don't know. Okay. The volume looks like it's down, and I can look at 
cards. It might be in the pin. There's a pinned message. Here you go. Uh, who are you? In here? You uh, Adam? Adam. Yeah. Cool. I will message you this link. Well, thank you. That is supposedly the link you can put into Pixel Warren to get it to update with set three images. This is Kungaloosh. I'd love a copy of that, too. I have most of them, but some are still All right. Uh, yep, I'll send you a message. Like, I don't know if this works yet. I'm about 30% of the way through downloading it, so... <laughs> but that was posted four days ago by someone in, in the Pixel Board channel. Cool. I figure out how to mute the app, so it'll hear it in the background of the stream while we're drafting. Or, it's background stream music. <laughs> I will stream it again, yes. Something I did last week, I think that was when we drafted, uh, that you might also want to set up. I set up like a push to talk button in Discord so that that way, like during the draft, you know, when I had to communicate with you guys, I could communicate with you guys, but then I could like talk to the people in my stream without giving my entire strategy away. Uh, so there's two ways to do it. One, so in settings, in setting on Discord, you can go voice and video and do push to talk, right? And then you have to like remember to hold that key down when you're talking to people in Discord. And the other way you could do it is you could go to the keybind settings and make a keybind for toggling mute and like mute and unmute yourself. Maybe. Like, I can hear you. Yes, I heard you say like this three times. And I prefer the toggle mute to push to talk, but that resulted in me giving away my strategy like three times during the draft on accident without realizing people could hear me. Well, there was one time I was like, I was like, oh, of course we take Kit here. It's like one of the best whatever rarities it is. I don't know what rarity it is because it's a promo card in Tabletop Simulator. And then everyone was like, oh, this guy just drafted Kit. <laughs> he wasn't quite as good as I thought he was. But. But it should, like, all, all the, a lot of the three drops have two attack, too. Like, he should be really good. The one time, there's like a 2-5 someone played against me, I think. Is, is I I think it had ward though. Like I try, I tried to like I was like finally a two attack thing to bounce, and I'm pretty sure it had ward. I don't I don't quite remember what card that was. Alright. Cool. I'll start mine up as well. Hello, everybody. That is not supposed to be there. That is supposed to be there. Hello. How are we all doing today? We are doing a wonderful, wonderful draft today of Into the Inklands. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. We are waiting on a couple more people to drop in. But... We will start sending out uh, links to the draft. We are using randomize ink dot or randomize dot ink. Check, check. You guys hear me? Fantastic place. Yep. 
Uh, we have a great group of people. We have up to nine drafters tonight. Um, we're looking to see if any people drop. A uh, big shout out to Nick Ochkunis. I believe that's how it's pronounced. A fantastic coder. And th he is very clever. Made this draft simulator for us that connects straight to Pixelborn. So that's what we'll be using to play our games. Once we get that started up. Boopity bop bow. How are y'all doing today? Chat? Is my voice coming through? Check one, two. There we go. Turn that down just an itty bitty bit. Okay. All right, we'll probably wait about five minutes after for anyone that's still trying to come in. What do we actually have to do? Uh, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna send you a link to randomize.inc with a draft code and a player code. You put those in and we'll, it'll put you on the table. After we draft, uh, it will tell you to remove up to eight cards and it will give you a pixel born code to throw in there for matches. Woo. Still got that golf on me. Nine. If we do end up with nine, my wife's happy to be the buy one of the rounds just so she can like make dinner for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm sure. I mean, she and I will end up playing our decks against each other later anyway. So we'll we'll get the full you know experience and everything. But just excited to do this with the community, get some drafts in, have some fun. So it should yeah. be great. Well, it looks like one person dropped out, so we are now at eight. Yeah, that's fine. I I can help her with dinner. We'll we'll figure it out. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my wife's making dinner as soon as she gets home, so I don't know how that's going to work out. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we are down to eight players for this draft, which is fine. Nick, hello! I was just shouting out your wonderful code. Thank you for the good luck. We will start in about four minutes, depending on when uh, Andrew manages to come in or not.
All right. So what I'm hoping what I can do is once I draft this, I can copy the pics, the uh, Dreamborn code, put it into Dreamborn.ink, so that way you guys have access to the deck list for the whole draft. We'll see if it works out. If it does, then fantastic. If it doesn't, oh well. We are just about at the cut off time. Once that happens, I'll be sending everyone codes and we will be able to draft. Ah. Oh. Draft doesn't give Dream Board code, only picks one. Oh. Well, that's okay. I'll probably try to manually put it in. <laughs> All right. It looks like our final guy isn't going to be in here, so I will, I will start handing out the codes. is mine. All right, everyone should have gotten a code from me. With that, we need to put in this link here, put it in there. Are we supposed to select draft next card? Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Yes, you can start drafting. All right, let's see what we get. Pack one. Ooh, we have two legendaries in this pack. Awesome. All set. All right. So we've got the Hydra and we have Kida. I think I like the Hydra more in this vacuum set. It's going to deal a lot of damage throughout the entire um, board. The rest of the pack is pretty decent as well. But I think most of the good cards are going to be taken away. But we will take the Hydra as our first pick.
probably in the future we'll probably figure out that that's the wrong pick, but... We shall see. If anyone is having any issues, please let me know. Adam, it looks like we're waiting on Emily to join in. All right, Aren't next pack. to decide between two cards. Yeah. Oh, you're good. No worries. Yeah. She's asking me how many locations they have in her deck, and I'm like, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Yeah, somewhere between 0 and 40. Yeah. All right. So next pack, we have some pretty good we have some pretty good rares in here as well. We got Maui's fish hook, which is probably my favorite rare in the set. It's just really good. Uh, we also have a Captain Hook, which is also a great pick. Um Looks like the person to my uh right grabbed an uncommon so what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna grab the fish hook the fish hook is just incredibly versatile captain hook's a great challenger but i think i'd rather have the fish hook for the sheer versatility Here, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the deck building over here so that way I can deck build on Dreamborn while I'm drafting. There we go. So how many packs are we going through? What's, like, what's the total we'll have at the end? Uh, it is four packs. Okay. So this is interesting. We could go with the lamp. Uh, hopefully get some Jafars and some Genies. Um, alternatively, um, Alice is kind of okay. I don't think I'm going to grab her this early, though. I think what we're going to grab here is probably the Kakamora. It is a pirate, so there is some synergies there. And it's a pretty good challenger. Uh, Gustav's an absolute trap in this set. There's not... The deck that he wants to be in doesn't necessarily need him. Uh, we could also go with Thaddeus Klain and get some locations. Um, Maui is pretty good too. But I think Kakamura is a Thanks little bit for better. Doing this. It'll be so nice to show up Friday and have a general idea what's going on yeah absolutely uh so we'll drop the kakamura here yeah, i'm doing a sealed event so it won't be quite the same but still very helpful yeah my store decided to do sealed friday and then a draft saturday so busy weekend Ooh, okay so we got handed the gyro sensor i like the gyro sensor Especially in the deck manipulation deck and 
most questing decks, which we kind of have. Uh, Hades is really fun with the Titans. We haven't seen any Titans yet, so I don't really want to grab him yet. Um, Trigger is also fun with if you get some Nutsies. Flotsam's okay uh, as well, but I think we'll grab the Gyro Sensor just to get a couple pieces. We're fine with getting some middling uh, characters, at least in the first pack. I want to get some pretty decent pieces while we have the chance. So our first, our first four picks are pretty good so far. We have a pretty good bomb in Hydra, and then a good mid-game deck with uh, a mid-game character with Kakamura, a wonderful um, a wonderful versatility card in Maui's Fishhook, and a way to dig for our bombs with the Gyro Sensor. Okay, so I like Webby here. I also like Heal What Has Been Hurt. Uh, Queen of Hearts, if I'm going with more villains, uh, I could actually, I could grab pretty much just every villain that comes by. Most of them are pretty good. And to grab this pretty early on could help lead into the deck that I'm wanting to do with it. So let's actually grab the Queen of Hearts here and see if we can build a villain's deck. Makes me wish I grabbed uh, Thaddeus the previous pack, but it is what it is. Now we got a bunch of people in this draft that have never touched into the Inklands, so it's going to be a bit of a longer draft period. The games might be a little bit longer than expected. That's normal. We're just here to have fun, learn the set, learn the mechanics. So that we are ready for the release. All right, next pack here, we got a Jafar. I like Jafar here. I'll take the Jafar here. Uh, although, ooh, although Wildcat would be great, I am, I do need to grab some evasives and the ability to banish items is pretty good. So we'll actually take the Wildcat here just to get some evasive in here and some item removal, which is actually quite, uh, it's a bit more valuable in this set than in previous ones. So we'll take the Wildcat. Our three drop slot is filling up very, very quickly, which is something that I expect to happen a lot in this set. Just because there are a lot of good three drop cards. All right, next pack. We have Pua, which is a nice little card to have early on and in the late game as well with that two lore. Friar Tuck. If we're wanting to go more aggro, we could play with Friar Tuck. Uh, that could be fun. Um, we don't have any locations yet, so we shouldn't grab the Treasure Guardian. That and he's not that good either. Um, 
without a lot of locations in your deck. So I think we're going to grab the Pua here, get our curve set up a bit. Like I, I'm, I'm liking this. I just I need to grab some more of the non three drops. All right. Looks like we're back to our original pack. We'll take the Magicka Dispel here, a very solid vanilla character. And is a villain. We like we like the baddies. I think most of the filler that we're gonna grab are going to be villains. Um we did pass along another Queen of Hearts, so we might uh, be competing with someone else for the villains, which is fine. If no one, if two people at a table are fighting for villains, it should be fine. Uh, once a third person gets in there, it's going to be a bit difficult. Alright. Yeah, this is about what I expected to come back to me. We'll take the repair. Healing's the best thing in this pack. Uh, if we happen to get like a good location in the next couple packs, we'll be happy with that as well. How are we feeling? A little bloated. <laughs> we've, we've got some cards. I, I don't think my first couple packs were that good, so... Could be a little better. It's alright. Just having fun. Honestly, I'm surprised that some of the cards that I'm seeing come to me late in the pack that I think are really good. I figure just take the enchanted and that's how you win. <laughs> I didn't know there were enchanted in this. Oh, yeah, we got I'm Thaddeus kidding. Klain back. <laughs> All right, we got Thaddeus Klain back. Fantastic, actually. Like, like even without his, um, Even without his second ability, his abil his body isn't one too thing bad. I'm curious about is how we're gonna draft more than one set. Like we did two and two when we just had two sets, but are we gonna do like two one and one or one one and two when we're doing like drafts that aren't all one of like all four E clans? Yeah, I think that that's just gonna to entirely depend on the store. What they have in supply. Uh, we'll take the destroy Racked here? No, we'll. Uh, you know what? Who knows? Maybe we'll get some nutsies. Let's grab a trigger. And let's see what our it's final card easy is. Easy for sealed because sealed is six pack, so right now it's two, two, and two. Super convenient. That makes sense. That seems pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, hard to feedy. That's fair. That is a very fair card to hand all the way down. So we are on to pack numero dos.
our curve is shaping up well. We got a good finishing card in our Hydra. Uh, we just need some ways to build around it all. Uh, get a couple villain, more villains, maybe. Uh, but we're going to take Robin Hood because Robin Hood is an absolute finisher here. Uh, yes, Rise of the Titans is really good. But we're going to definitely take the uh, playable four lore character in this. Uh, Rise of the Titans and Baboom are fantastic. I'm happy whoever I'm passing it to. I'm happy for them, but we'll take the Robin Hood here. We are not opposed to getting some locations. Uh, if, if any decent ones are passed our way that we don't find, you know, better cards for. Uh, the locations went past us pretty quickly from the right. Uh, maybe one of them grabbed a John Silver. And so they're grabbing every location they possibly can. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Alright, pick number two. Again, Gustav. Uh, I don't like that. Um, we could get Helga Sinclair. She's a villain. We like villains. Uh, slightly has evasive. We do need a couple more evasives. Uh, Moana is also an evasive. Um... I think the right move here is to just get the evasive. So we're going to grab slightly here. We will eventually, we will eventually get a location, I think. Uh, we do need more four and five drops. We also need to find some one drops that we're comfortable grabbing. Perhaps when we are in the mid to late portion of the packs, focus on getting a couple one drops. All right, pack, pick number three here. Um, 
I mean, if we want a one drop, this is probably one of the best one drops we're gonna get. Um, so we will grab the cursed merfolk here. Probably one of the best one drops in the set. It's not a villain, and we also have Helga, which could also be a villain. But we 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 like the cursed merfolk. We like the merfolk. So I, I'm I'm liking the, I'm liking how this is turning out now. I'm liking I'm liking how it's shaping up. Uh, Cusco's palace. Uh, Cusco's palace is good. Um, I I think I prefer. Um, I think I prefer slightly over it because if the goal is to not uh, for them to not get challenged, evasive is a better. Uh, reason for them not to be challenged. Uh, let's see here. Next pack. Uh, nothing too exciting in here. Um. Yeah, nothing too exciting in here. Um. I think for this we grab the bayou um, as just like a subpar location as like a filler location it's a nice one drop um, there are a couple things that can take it out quickly but I mean it'll get you a couple lore uh, in the early game if it's out if you play it turn one and uh, it could dig into your deck if you need it to so I think we're going to see Cusco's Palace uh, in the next couple packs, um, or at least uh, some other locations in future packs. Cusco's Palace is fine. All right. Ooh. Okay. Um, I like the rapier. Rapier is good. Rapier is great. I very much like rapier. Thank you, table. Um. Yeah. Th thank you, table. Uh, I will take this rapier, and I will be happy with it. Um. If Rapier was not in here, I'd take Glomgold to help with the curve, and he's a villain. But the Rapier is just really, really good. I do see villains coming around. Um, and so hopefully, um, when we get to, like, the middle of the pack, I can start just grabbing villains to smooth out the curve. Otherwise, uh, we can just drop the Queen of Hearts, you know? It's not the biggest of deal if, uh... It's not the biggest of deal if we don't keep her in the deck. A 
I just implemented the Dreamboard code out of the final page, so it should hopefully work for you guys. Thank you so much, Nick. I love those coughs. All right. Next pack. Grandma Tala coming all the way down here to the mid pack. Really good. Replaces herself. We're needing four drops. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for Grandma Tala. Let's just look at my cards while we're waiting. So, definitely going to play this. Might play this. Might play this. Might play this. Might play this. Will play this. Might play this. Might. Will. 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 Won't. Will. 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 Uh, I guess maybe, depending on how many locations we get. It's turning out to be pretty good. I like the six drops that we have. The six drops that we have are fantastic. And I'm excited to see how, uh, how Hydra turns out. All right, next pack. Sheriff of Nottingham is the villain in this pack. Alternatively, we have Neverland. Um, we do have the Bayou, so we could have some very funny shenanigans with the Sheriff of Nottingham. Um, we do already have a good number of uninkables. Hmm. I'm debating between the Sheriff and Neverland. I think I'm going to take Neverland here just because we don't... I don't really want him to as an uninkable. If he was inkable, I'd definitely pick him. But for now, we will take the Neverland. Because we really don't have that many... The only discard we have is the Bayou, and the Bayou is going to be taken out really quickly once they see the Sheriff of Nottingham. Alright, speaking of Nottingham, we will take Nottingham here. Uh, Heart of Atlantis isn't that great. Uh, Distract is good. Replacement effects. If we had four, uh, any of the four cost songs, I'd be more excited for Bianca. And I'll Find My Way is just... Uh, it's not a bad card, but it's a bad card. <laughs> it's not a bad card. It's just a bad card. So a number of our two drops and three drops are ha 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 ha, ha look he's back. <laughs> Guess he's back. Back again. Kuzco's Palace is back. We probably should have taken the Helga there, but who cares? It's Kuzco's Palace. I think we're definitely shifting over to a more location-based deck now. I am excited to see how this turns out.
and our curve is shaping up pretty well as well uh, we do need to focus on some four and five drops but otherwise I think we're doing pretty well I think we're doing pretty well We do need to grab some four and five drops. Unfortunately, Scroop is not good enough for what we're wanting. And so we will we will grab a Forbidden Mountain. You know, I like these two drop locations. They are a lot of it's a lot of willpower to take out. And so early on, we could be playing like Neverland into Forbidden Mountain into Wildcat or Queen of Hearts. Uh, we do need to start grabbing uh, characters. Uh, yeah, this is a. Uh... Ooh, okay. So Scrooge McDuck, not the best card. Uh, for the for this but it does fill out the curve and so we will definitely get a McDuck here while I am sitting here waiting for the last card I would like to shout out Kyle Kyle thank you for watching the stream I appreciate it uh, and finally we get a skippy which is a kind of bad card but uh, we will it's not the worst card to be forced upon your lap. So with that, we need looking into these last two packs. We definitely need more characters. I think we have all the non character cards we need. So we need to grab characters. Uh, specifically, we need to focus on grabbing some four and five cost characters. Um, or we could be given one of the best, uh, commons in the set <laughs> or piglet. <laughs> oh my word. Piglet. Uh, <laughs> okay. Piglet. <laughs> Piglet's good. Piglet's a really good card. Um, Piglet's a good card, but I really think we're going to grab the magic carpet here. We have a lot of locations. We have a lot of locations. And this cheap evasive is good. I don't know, but I really like Piglet. Piglet's just... Ah, uh, Piglet's so good. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, we haven't seen any bodyguards come through, so whoever's going to have that is going to be happy. Um, oh man... Uh, we'll take the piglet. We're taking the piglet. We're taking the piglet. Uh, we're taking the piglet. We took the piglet. We are fine with... We, we, we will do piglet. Did something I never do in real life. Passed a legendary. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough to do that when you're like, oh, I'm just passing, you know, two to three packs worth of value. But <laughs> it's not real money, Adam. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Not here anyway. <laughs> yeah. Would you do that in the real game? It would depend on what the stakes are. I mean, if it's a yeah. top eight draft for like a, a case or something, then yeah, I'll probably pass it. But but if it's just you know with the the local league, player three rounds, two packs per win. Take the legendary. But what know. if it was legend? But what if it was enchanted with a special oh, no. top eight sig symbol? And <laughs> oh no, I'm taking the enchanted regardless. I don't think I'm gonna. 
be able to like I, I think the EV is probably such that you just take the enchanted there even if you're like I'm a little less likely to, to win around yeah that's fair yeah always grab the enchanted kids yeah I mean if it's like worlds you know and it's like there's a pretty big difference between fifth through eighth and third fourth that's different but I don't see myself at worlds anytime soon so Speaking of legendary, no, I think you're the one who posted about the uh, insane pricing for Relentless. So the question is, do you yeah. flip it just now Ooh. and buy it back cheaper, or hold on to it? Yeah, that that was me. Yeah, no, I I will. I think I'll probably hold on to them. Yeah, oh, at least man. a little bit. That so, might be wrong. I don't know. So Chernabog. <laughs> yeah. Chernabog well, yeah, or Maleficent. The other two that I did order actually come in. I mean. Yeah, three versus four. Like, you want place that or else, what are you doing with this whole combo deck? So, yeah, oh, that might, my word. That might yep. affect things. Yeah. Uh, we're taking Chernabog here. I, uh, we're definitely going to take Chernabog here. Maleficent, I don't think, is as strong as people are making it out to be. While Chernabog is definitely as strong as people are making it out to be. So, we will most definitely take Chernabog here. Yes, IPA, welcome. Welcome in. We are in the middle of pack number three. And we have some, we have a pretty good top end. Um, the rest of the deck is not that great, but we are getting there. Got three sealed events this weekend. Absolutely. I am dropping a draft guide this Thursday. Uh, anything that applies to that will most likely apply to sealed as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it, this is, this is a very fun set to draft with. Um, eek, two Mama Odies and a Treasure Guardian? That's rough. We're taking Eeyore. <laughs> Eeyore is such it, it's it, he's 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 one of my favorite commons actually he's just a very solid challenging boy we could have taken cubby with all of the uh locations we have but i i like eeyore he's at that right he's just at that right cost and body Yep, I myself am doing a, I'm going to be doing a stream Friday night, just cracking a bunch of packs, hanging out with everyone that's wanting to jump onto the stream. And then uh, Saturday, I have a sealed event. And then that Sunday, I have a draft. And then the next weekend, I have a draft. And hello, Sorcerer's Tower. Ooh, we also have Vault Door. Nope, we need characters. Characters, 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 Snipe, characters, characters. <laughs> we will take Billy Bones. He's just a big old chonky boy. Billy Bones. Billy. Billy Bones, why do you not want to show up? There we go. Billy Bones. Uh, we're definitely going to give up on the villains deck. I have given up on the villains deck, which is fine. I wasn't too hot on it anyway. Um, so what this means is we need to get... Uh, a bunch of other characters set up. Okay. 
The genie art is one of my favorites in the set. Yeah, it's it's pretty it is pretty fun art. And a baby tiny lady's face. And he's actually a pretty good card for the uh, go wide aggro deck. Just two ink, two lore. Let's go. <laughs> deck go brr. So we are definitely low on four drops. So that is something to focus on in the next pack and a half. Um, maybe get a few more one drops. Um, we're pretty solid on the five drop spot. We're pretty solid on the six drop spot. Um, our twos and threes are pretty good. So we really need to look at our four drop spot. Make sure that we get some solid cards there. We have some solid cards in Slightly and Grandma Tala, but we need more four drops. Give us some four drops. Here, let me actually show you what we have. We have a lot of mid characters. <laughs> a lot of mid characters. <laughs> Okay, so now we got a solid four drop in Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell will help us dig to find more characters. Not bad, I like it, I like it. Tinkerbell, thank you, welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Yeah, this is a, this is a, uh, this, <laughs> this is a, top curve right here the trick is trying is the trick is going to be getting to that Alright, next pack. Um, let's... Mm, I don't want to grab Pua because we have Chernabog. And Pua plus Chernabog is not a good combination. Um, we could go with bosses on a roll. But we need characters. Um, hmm... None of these characters I'm really happy about. So I think we'll take bosses on a roll, so that way we're able to dig for our bombs. So let's do that. Hey, Adara. We are not taking the Pua. Because we have a Chernabog. <laughs> and we want characters that want to die. <laughs> we want characters that actually vanish. <laughs> we are drafting. We are... This deck, I'm not quite sure how to label it yet, other than we have some fantastic... Oh, whoa! Hello! Hello, Captain Hook! 
Hello, Captain Hook. How are you today? <laughs> we will most definitely take you. Wow. This... <laughs> wow. How good was this pack? Wow. Thank you, Captain Hook. Let's... Yeah. Yeah, we'll take Captain Hook. We're... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, we'll take a Jim Hawkins here. Although, actually, we'll take Dewey because support is fantastic. We are definitely going to take Dewey here. That and he's two lore. I like I like two lore. Two lore characters are twice as good as one lore characters, as I always say. <laughs> two two lore characters are better than one lore character. Herp or derp herp. Okay, um, I think we have enough locations to where the broom's worth it. Um, the queen, we do need four drops. Yeah, I guess we'll take the queen. We do need four drops. And she is a villain, so she does pair well with our queen of hearts. I don't expect the queen of hearts to get too much value, but... I mean, even if she grants one extra lore, she's worth it, I guess. Yeah, we're starting to get into the bottom of pack three. <laughs> Mama Odie, Mama Odie. Card I'm picking. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> uh, actually, the wrench isn't that all that bad. There's going to be damage sticking on some of your characters, so. Or sticking on some of your locations, so. Not the worst item to fill your deck with. And I don't think we have any songs, so... Oh, we have one song. Uh, we have the bosses on a roll. Uh, we'll take the Cleansing Rainwater. Healing is very valuable. Or, er, healing's good. Uh, and Sheriff of Nottingham is just... It's it's not... <laughs> it's not good. It's It's not... And off to our final card of the pack, Minnie Mouse. I'm actually not upset with that. So we are on our... That's the end of pack number three. Again, we have this fantastic top curve here. Some pretty solid five drops. Uh, four drops we got some pretty good picks for. Our three drop slot is pretty solid. Um... Our two drop slot could use some work, and so can our one drops. Uh, curve wise, we need a couple more four drops, a couple more one drops. So, I think we're pretty. I think we're pretty solid, though. This is a pretty solid. Um, oh no! <laughs> uh, do I pick the aggro card or the aggro card? Um, <laughs> uh, we'll take, we'll take, a, we'll take a second piglet. 
Maybe the whole table undervalues how good Cursed Merfolk is. Uh, I highly doubt it, but... <laughs> I guess we're building a pretty. I guess we're building a kind of aggro deck, and then just topping off with some fantastic finishers. I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, oh, this deck is weird. This deck is so weird. Ah, uh, man. Looks like we're just going to be turning things sideways. Or keeping things sideways in the context of locations. I might as well get the pairings recorded. Next pack, Magicka Dispel, no, Little John, no, Joshua Sweet, yes. Yeah. We got a bodyguard. Yeah. We have a bodyguard. I legitimately think that's the first bodyguard I've seen in this draft. Oh, man. So I think with Joshua Sweet we've pretty we've got a pretty good I think we got a pretty good curve now. We got uh we can go turn one cursed mofrok into a piglet into a Kakamura or Wildcat into a Joshua Sweet. Which I actually really like. Ooh, we'll take an Iago. Get some more evasive. Let's get some more evasive in the chat. Let's go. Let's uh go. I like evasives. I like evasive vases. I like evasive vases. I like it. Vases. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, next pack. Hmm. 
I think we'll take the Robin Hood here. We just need some we just need some decent fillers to fill out the curve. So we'll take a Rob we'll take a Robin Hood here. Replace that mini mouse. Yeah, two piglets. That's going to be interesting. I haven't heard a reference to that song in a long time. Yeah, that, that that's a... It's an oldie. <laughs> Wrong property, though. That would have been an interesting song card. For the trash that I've done, have I been run 60 card minimum or exactly 40 card? Uh, I, um, 40 card minimum is what I do. I don't, I, I, I don't see the point in restricting someone to do that. So now I have a choice between Louie, which is a good support card, and Chernobog's followers, which will definitely feed into our Chernobog. Um, I think what we're going to do is we are going to grab the followers and have it feed into our Chernobog. Hello, Wesley. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, so what you need to do is you need to jump onto the 40 Born Discord. Um, and I will be hosting events there. You can also check my Twitter from time to time. I will post on my Twitter that I'm running a draft. Um, and yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, really. Um... These aren't really scheduled in any way, shape, or form. It just depends on whenever I'm available to do it. Hello, Mata Nui. <laughs> uh, Mata Nui's not good for this deck. Ah. Ah. Um. Which is interesting that it came this late. Um. Hmm. I think we take I think we take the puppy here. We just need we just need characters. We need characters. We need characters. We need characters to suffer and we need characters to die. And so we will uh, put down characters to die. Um How? What? Whoa! Whoa! Ariel this late in the pack? Whoa! That wow. Okay. 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 I'll take Ariel. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to pull my leg. Don't have to pull my leg about Ariel. All right. Uh, yeah. I don't see the point of 
forcing someone to have a more consistent deck if they don't want a more consistent deck. Uh, if that makes sense. Like, like having more than 40 cards is objectively a bad idea. Um, but if someone wants to play with more than 40 cards, they should be free to do that. Uh, and I'm now just going to grab all the evasive cards that they keep handing me. Uh, uh, no one's going to, no one's, no one's going to be able to, uh, uh, touch me, I guess. Um, cool. Guess no one's gonna, no one's gonna be able to touch my early game. Uh, <laughs> oh no! What have they done? Oh man. Okay. I'm getting handed good cards late in these packs, which is. Interesting. Like, we have some good drafters in this table. Uh, if you uh, don't want to, um, you know, be with me, you could also take check out uh, Pishoff on his stream on Twitch. Uh, we'll take Cubby here. Uh, he is also at this table. But uh, he is on the Twitch. And I am on the YouTubes, so check him out if you, for some reason, do not like the way I make content. <laughs> and half my viewers left. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I'm 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 act so I was very iffy on this deck very early on. But now I I I I feel like this is a solid like 6 out of 10. <laughs> like a like a solid 5 uh, 4 out of 10, maybe a 3. Um <laughs> Um, we'll take orb. <laughs> I needed characters and I kept being handed characters and I, I guess I'm going aggro-ish. I guess I'm going aggro-ish. <laughs> I mean, when you're hit, when when you when you open up two piglets, um, little quick patch. When you when you open up two piglets and no one knows that there's two piglets at the table, uh, <laughs> this could be interesting. <laughs> Uh, Lamp tells me that no one is building a genie and Jafar deck. Um, so that's nice. The Lamp is good if you have Jafar. I will say that. Like, two ink, draw two cards. If you got it, if you get that Jafar, if you have a good number of Jafars in your deck, um, that's the trick. Because, uh,. If you don't have a Jafar or a Genie, then uh, it's uh, two ink to do nothing, which is great. And I've got a dream is the final card. And so with that, okay. 
We have our picks, packs. 21 inkable, 7 uninkable. Nice addition there, Nick. I like that. Um, so now we get to go through and take out the cards that we don't necessarily want. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out McDuck. Uh, we have plenty of evasive characters uh, in our deck. We have plenty of 5 drops in our deck. So we don't necessarily need him. Um, we will take out the queen. Uh, kind of the same reason. Um, we're not playing a deck manip manipulation deck. Heart of Tefiti, we aren't, is just not a good card for this set. Uh, for limited. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I've got a dream we're going to take out. We're not going to be doing much with that. Uh, same with the Queen of Hearts, actually. She is a 3-3 three, three for 3, which isn't terrible. She'll deal some damage. Uh, we're going to take out Trigger, though, because uh, we didn't find any nutsies. Um, we'll take out Skippy. We will take out the Bayou. That leaves us with one card to take out. We will take out Quick Patch. All right. That is our deck. Very nice. Copy. Yep. We got a nice little deck here. Let's pull this over. And then we will move over to our Pixelborn here. Boop, 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 boop. We will go over to our Pixelborn, and then we will... All right, going to take a quick AFK, and then ready to go whenever you guys are. Uh, once I get this set up, I will... Also take a quick little break. We got that. Move over here like that. Um, is there a way to get all of it on there? There is not. So we will save as sealed deck. Bop, not public. Then we will share. Ha 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 ha. Ba, ba, ba. How does that look? How does that look, chat? Probably looks pretty bad. We will put that there, and then I will be back.
Is anybody else getting an error when they try to import their deck? Alrighty, I have returned. So now that I jump over here, bop the boop. I should be working correctly now. Check one, two, check, check, check. What's the error? Is it the card name? What error? Did I miss something while I was out? Ah, yes. It does not recognize Eeyore or the Cursed Merfolk. So I must fix this by taking out the Curse Mall Folk, taking out Eeyore, exporting Pixelborn, put back in there. Now it doesn't recognize Wildcat's Wrench. There we go, and then we go back in here. We look up Wildcat's Wrench. We look up Eeyore. And we look up Curse Merfolk. Boom, 40 card deck, perfection, beauty. Is everyone doing all right? Is everyone doing all right? A couple folks just building their decks manually because the import doesn't want to work. Uh, all right. Uh, I have the uh, owner of the website in my stream, and he's he says he's going to try to get them fixed up. Sorry about that, y'all. It did work for me, so... It might be specific might not, cards. It may not be the website. It may be which version of the archive you're running for Pexelborn because it's been updated so many times recently. Yeah, we're going to probably have to... Yeah, we. I think we have one that's maybe not the most recent because my wife doesn't have any Amethyst images in her, but she oh. has all the other new ones. Oh, okay. Uh, which is peculiar, but... Um, and I do have the Amethyst. Um, yeah. But also, I, I have all of them, but mine still didn't upload either, so hmm. I do not know. We'll, we'll troubleshoot over here. Yeah. All right. Uh, Adam, just let me know whenever she's ready to play. Yeah, yeah. We'll do, we'll do. Um, if it comes down to it, because um, I, I think she has uh, like a few Amethyst cards in her deck, it may be that she like plays on my account because it has the it actually has the cards, and I would just like play on hers, and we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll take a few minutes and figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and it's I've also a good. Posted the latest archive link if anyone wants to try updating. That is the bleeding edge. Yep. Uh, Nick says, yeah, it's not the cards. It might be an outdated JSON.
well, it's a good thing we're doing all this before release and we're getting it all kind of troubleshooted. How do we all feel about our decks? So that's that is that link you just posted is the exact link I used 40 minutes ago. That's like half of us. I messaged it to everyone. It's what we all used. And mm. that does not have like half of my cards in it. Weird. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm using and I have everything as far as I'm aware. That is so weird. Like they're not in my client. I don't even have blink in. They need to use the images link and update. And update. And I pulled the Google Drive. I pulled the Google Drive uh, new, newest file from that like minutes before we started. I can try importing those images again, but I don't think it'll do anything. But yeah, to answer your question, Nive, I feel like this is the weakest draft set that we have seen so far because there's so much more synergy based stuff. Yeah, I get, yeah feels like this is because I, I read that they designed the first three sets in tandem so this feels like they're kind of capping uh, out so i don't know if we're gonna get to play guys uh -oh. I don't know. <laughs> well that's gonna work uh well that's great um <laughs> huh well yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to see if these images work or not but <laughs> <laughs> Also for me, the image updates always take like a really long time. I don't know about y'all. Yeah, she had to close Pixelborn and open it back up and her amethyst was there. Maybe. So, I well. see if it's in the import deck section. Oh, okay. It might not be there. I'm starting off with cold. <laughs> it might I'll not be I'll try relaunching as well. Yeah, you never know. Okay, it just works now. <laughs> it fine. just that's works. Like the, it's, yeah, it's like the fourth time I've copied it. Huh. Uh, let's see. It doesn't. It doesn't like that I don't have. Did it work? Hold on. I have to be in my collection tab. Yeah, it doesn't like that it doesn't have sixty cards, but. Ah, uh, what does? Let's see. Yeah, let's make sure I. I have. I have 40 cards. Yeah, this looks right. Okay. Don't know how that happened, but I am ready to play. Fantastic. Is anyone else having issues? No? Cool. Alright, we'll say at uh, X17 is when time starts. Or time ends, rather. Or okay. let's give you all we'll about... off into our own private yep. voice chats. Here. Correct. Uh, let's yeah. actually do X twenty two. Sounds good. It gives Just, us five minutes. Yeah, five minutes to set up and all that. All right. Best of luck, everyone. All right. Uh huh. Ha, ha. All right, so we do get to play. Much excite. Go whoop whoop.
and we will just wait for the pairings to come up. See, we're trying to get it all set up here. Why do you not want to work? Ah, there we go. All right, let's go. We are going second, and we have actually a pretty decent curve here. I think we're going to keep this because we could turn one Merfolk into Gyrosensor, into Queen of Hearts, into Tala, into Hook. 
Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Ah, uh, I see the issue with this now. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna have the, uh, I'm not gonna have this up. It's just not gonna work. Oh, well. Now we know. Alright, Captain Amelia. Alright, we will go with Robin Hood in the Inkwell. We're going to put down a curse, Merfolk, and pass the turn. In the next turn, we'll put down the gyro sensor, and we'll be able to uh, scry, for lack of a better term. All right, Chernabog's followers. Okay. Must have just drawn that card. Alright, Inkwell and a queen. Okay. And then we will... Ooh, okay, so... Sh ooh. Yeah, so we'll go Clang. And then we'll put down the gyro sensor and we will s quest and scry. We will put that on the bottom of the deck and pass the turn. And the next turn we'll have the choice between Queen of Hearts and Neverland plus or hiss. I might go Neverland and Sir Hiss because of just the evasive plus the lore I think will be better than just having a base 1-3 or a base 3-3. Three, three. I guess it'll depend on what they play down here. So they ink a Cusco's Palace. Let's see if they choose to eat my merfolk. Ooh, magic broom. Very nice. Very nice. I think in this case we will definitely play Sir Hiss and uh, Neverland instead of the Queen of Hearts because that can easily become a very big, very big boy. Okay, going to quest, okay. Going to let us scry a little bit more. is on a roll very nice uh, we will play Queen of Hearts we will quest with the merfolk and scry we will keep that on top and then we'll play Neverland and we will play Sir Hiss and pass the turn and the next turn we're definitely gonna we're gonna ink bosses on a roll and then play Gramatala and then quest out. So then that way we're able to dig. And then we'll be able to scribe for our next turn. Look for an inkable card. 
so on and so forth. Ooh, Heart of Atlantis, okay. Let's see what they do with that. Okay, they're, they're gonna try to race us, it looks like. And we're just gonna keep, we're just gonna keep questing. Uh, but we will first ink the bosses on a roll. And then play Grandma Tala. Let's grab a Billy Bones. And then we will quest with the Merfolk. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll put that on the bottom. I don't think we'll need him to this game. Quest. We'll keep Iago on top. They can put down a lot of stuff this turn. All right, Heart of Atlantis. Putting down a seven drop. Wow, well, putting down another magic broom. Okay. Oh, nice. Sorcerer's Tower. Nice. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I like that a lot. That's cool. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five lore versus my five lore. Yeah, I think we'll still race for now. We will quest with the Merfolk. Uh, yes, activate that. Uh, mm, we'll put that on the bottom. Gyro Sensor, we'll put that on top. Quest. Look at top, go there. We will ink an Iago. Play a Captain Hook that can take out his two brooms, or her two brooms rather, and pass turn. Gonna banish it and draw a card. And then next turn we're going to ink Cusco's Palace, put down Robin Hood. And just put a ton of pressure on them. <laughs> nice. Just grabbed all the brooms. Very nice. Ooh, okay. Little John, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna take out the Murf the Curse Murfolk for free because now they have an empty hand. Or not. That's interesting. Mm. 
We will ink Kuzco's palace. We will quest with the merfolk. Activate. We'll keep. <laughs> we'll keep Eeyore on top. We will challenge into the magic broom. And then ready up Captain Hook. To take out the other magic broom. And then we will quest with Sir Hiss. Gyro Sensor, keep Eeyore on top. Play Robin Hood Daydreamer, pass the turn. Flotsam, that is not going to get them out of this. I mean, Prince John could do... Let's see, I lose to Lord, make me down to 15. But then I could just quest back all the way up. Yep. That's not going to do it. That Cursed Merfolk did a lot of work for this game. New quest and set. All right, game number two. There we go. Oh. Uh. Not sure what's happening here.
Just having some technical difficulties here. As we all seem to keep having. <laughs> Uh-oh, come on now. Technical difficulties. Uh-oh, I have two sealed decks. I need to fix this. Okay, this is the one I'm deleting. Yes, I want that sealed deck. There we go. And I am going second. Let's take a look at our curve here. Mmm, it's a bit high. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take out the repair the Kakamora, the Robin Hood, and the Eeyore, and see what happens there. Okay, Robin Hood, serve his. Okay. I, I like this curve out. Yep, so one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, and then Tinkerbell is the six drop. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Not as insane as our first game, but still pretty good. We gotta keep an eye out for that <laughs> Sorcerer's Tower though. Wow. Alright, we will ink the gyro sensor and play a Robin Hood past the turn. The reason for that is because we have a rapier and we can develop card advantage with the rapier. Especially with our Captain Hook that gains uh, Challenger 1, which really won't do much here in this situation, but could still come up from time to time. Sir Hiss. Okie dokie. Well, you got your own Sir Hiss. I guess I will play my own In quest. Pass. Let's see, I'll either ink the clane or whatever comes our way to put down probably the rapier. And then the turn after that, put down Dewey. And then get a trigger off the rapier. Actually, no, we'll play the Dewey. And then the turn after that, play the rapier. So that way we have support triggered up. And uh, two more. Okay, that's scary. 
Um, hmm. That is a conundrum. Because if they have the sorcerers, eh, if they have the sorcerers place, they'll have me. It'll be fine. We'll play Clang. We will put down Duford. Past the turn. If they have the Sorcerer's Tower, then so be it. Uh, next turn we'll probably play Iago instead of the Rapier because it doesn't look like we're going to be taking out a character on this next turn. Uh, we could also play Tinkerbell to get a another character, which I think is pretty good here as well. Ah, Voltor. Okay, so not not what they were looking for there. Yep. So we will probably quest out here yep so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna ink Iago we will quest for three pop up up and then we will play a actually we're gonna because mm. we could take out the vault door with wildcat which might be very important. So yeah, we're going to play the Wildcat to take out Vault Door next turn. Wildcat is quite a valuable card right here. And there's the tower. All right, so here's the question. Are you going to take out Dewey or Robin Hood? Uh, taking out the Dewey is probably the right play here. Yep. All right, we're going to use actually ooh. Yeah, but we're going to have to ink the we're going to have to ink the palace. And then we'll play Captain Hook. We will banish the vault door. And I'm afraid we will have to pass the turn. So next turn, if they don't do, if they don't exert any of their characters, we could take out the tower with Captain Hook and Robin Hood, uh, and then put down, like, say, a Tinkerbell to uh, get some card advantage. Uh, if they do exert a character, though, we will. If they do exert that broom, we will play the Rapier to then play Captain Hook, and then we will challenge, and then we will draw a card off the Rapier. Ooh, Ariel. Very nice, very nice. Probably going to move Ariel to the tower, maybe?
Okay. So we will... Let's play Tinkerbell. Okay. So we will search up an aerial. We will ink Magicka Dispel. We will use Captain Hook and Wildcat to take out the Sorcerer's Tower. And then we will quest for one and pass the turn. So then next turn we either play an evasive character or we play the rapier and draw a bunch of cards. We did bottom the fish hook, which makes me sad, but it is what it is. Eeyore! Okay, Eeyore, Eeyore actually puts um, puts a little bit of pressure. Well, actually, hold on. Captain Hook grants... Um, the Rapier gives Captain Hook uh, Challenger 1. So he could take out <laughs> Eeyore here. <laughs> Eeyore. <laughs> Which is kind of funny to think about here. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to play the rapier. We will play Piglet. And we will just quest for one and pass the turn. If they play a song and take out Wildcat, all the power to them. What I could have done is I could have quest with the Robin Hood to um, kind of trick them into a challenge into it, but it is what it is, I guess. We are going to quest for a ton next turn. We're going to quest with Piglet, we're going to quest with Robin Hood, we're going to quest with Wildcat. <laughs> okay, we got the bodyguard. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely going to quest out now. Quest, 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 bodyguard. <laughs> oh, bodyguards are so good. <laughs> Nice, a rush broom. Very nice, very nice. So there might be a good bit of damage flying around this turn now, actually. Whoa, wait, whoa, what are you doing? Oh no! Oh. Well, that's game. 
Uh, let's see what she could have done. She could have challenged with a with these two brooms to take out Sweet. Used Ariel to take out Piglet. Um, used Eeyore to take out Captain Hook. And then I would only have three lore. But yeah. That's just game. But yeah, that is round number one. We will be waiting for other... Uh, we will be waiting for other pairings to show up. Uh, until then, uh, enjoy the music. Hello, Jada. Welcome to the channel. I hope you are enjoying yourself. Hope you're having a great day. Good to see you. We just finished round one, and so we are waiting for the other pairings to show up and finish their rounds. We're just chillaxing. We have ourselves a Captain Hook and a Hydra playing some Stardew this fine evening. Indeed, indeed. Star, star, uh, Stardew's not my thing, but I hope you enjoy it. just relaxing let's pull up our deck that we have let's go back over here bop, bop, bop. cool so we got some pretty fun cards in here we have the hydra which we haven't quite seen yet um we also have a robin hood in here. I hear you like Robin Hoods. Um, we also have do, 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 we have Captain Hook in here as well. Oh, this screen's a bit big. Let's make that a bit smaller. Ha ha ha. Wonderful. There we go. Yeah, this is a nice little draft deck that we have together here.
We'll probably win a few games, but you'll never know. Oh, that's not my face. Uh, face. Face. Hello. <laughs> it is my face. Uh, this is at an angle. Let's let's straighten that out. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Hello. It is my gorgeous face. We are still waiting on the last couple of round, uh, other pairings. They are just chilling over there. Let me see if I can spectate one of them. That would be nice. I want to spectate. I don't know any of these. Fantastic. I don't know any of those, so we're not going to watch those. We're just going to chill in here. So, what are we liking about Into the Inkland so far?
just chilling and relaxing and enjoying life, you know, just chilling. Chat's awfully quiet, and so I'll just be awfully quiet. We'll just listen to the music together. Delicious water. There's no music playing. Why is there no music playing? Oh, there is no, uh, ha 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 uh ha -huh, funny there's no music here okay uh well uh let's just uh uh let
What's up, Knife? I have the buy. Someone left? Oh, there's only seven to start with. Okay, cool. I'm on the buy. Huh. I'll see if someone else wants to stream their match. I can commentate it. See if anybody else wants to. I don't want to like. You're streaming your game. I don't want to steal that from you. But so. But if no one else does, I'd appreciate being able to watch that. We'll wait and see. All right, we are back with round number two. And of course, my throat decides it wants to cough right when I switch back over. Can you link me to your stream? Sorry? Can you link me to your stream? I'll, I'll commentate the match for my viewers over on my stream. So yeah. they don't all leave. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want me to send you the link to it? Yeah, your Twitch stream. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I am on the YouTube. YouTube? YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Uh, b -b -b -ha looking for a way to do that. I'm sure I can find it. It's on YouTube. Yeah, and it's my name. It's nice. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm going to hop out of here so you can't hear me. That sounds sounds good to me. Oh, so in that case, we need to allow spectators, it looks like. Ba -ba -ba. We are back and we are waiting for our opponent to show up here. Ready to play some Inkland's Draft. Uh, turn one Robin Hood into a piglet into a Sir Hiss. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's see what we can get from the looks like it's not gonna let me. Ah, oh, here we go. Yep. Uh, so then let's see what I can get out of here out of these three gyro sensor dispel wrench perfect ink i like ink let's get some ink hello pastern all 
Oh, perfect curve. So we'll go magic and dispel. <coughs> Into Piglet. Pooh, Pirate Captain. Quest for one and pass. Well, I'm going to ink a Joshua Sweet. And what are you going to play here? Adela Duck. Oh, the bane of my existence for this deck. Um. Hmm. What is the play here? Um. Hmm. Well, I think we ink the queen. We just get our value out of this. Della Duck is a pretty good play against us here. Uh, next turn, if we draw an inkable, what we can do is we can ink it. Then we'll play Gyro Sensor and Sir Hiss. Uh, quest for three. Uh, quest for two. Scry to find another inkable to play Eeyore. If we draw a non inkable, then, uh, well. <laughs> Gustav the Giant. Okay. So we got a ready Gustav the Giant. Oh man, okay. So I guess what we do here is we're just gonna, we have to sadly ink Sir Hiss. We'll still play the Gyro Sensor and we'll still play the Merfolk. And then we will quest with Wildcat. Uh, we will put that on the bottom and then we'll pass. The vault door. Okay. Well, that's interesting. It's showing me what you inked last turn. That's interesting. Joshua Sweet. Okay. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> yeah, we'll put this on top. We will ink the Eeyore for the turn. And then I think we quest with the Merfolk, make him discard a card here. We have such a lore advantage over them. Agraba. Okay. Magic carpet, nice. And I'm afraid we're going to have to, sadly, we're going to have to ink Captain Hook. 
and play this serpent. Or actually, I think the right move is just to play Captain Hook. Yeah, and then we'll just ink this Dewey next turn. Prince John. Ooh, okay. Interesting, 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 interesting. So I definitely intend on taking out Agrabah with it, with Captain Hook. Uh, if they activate the market carpet, I'm definitely taking out the carpet. Yep. Okay. So this turn, I'm definitely going to take out the Captain Hook. Or take out the suite. Then ready up Captain Hook. Captain Hook will take out Agrabah. Wildcat will take out the magic carpet. Then we will ink Dewey. Then we will play the Hydra. And pass the turn. Interesting, interesting. Questing with Prince John. Let's see, using Della, uh, yeah, he has to use Della Duck to take out Captain Hook, which will ready Gustav. Yeah, which will ready Gustav. Why'd you ready? Oh no. Okay, so what we're gonna do. Quest challenge with Hydra. Take out Prince John. Deal two damage to Peter Pan. Quest with Robin Hood. Look. Bottom. Quest. Look. Top. Play Yago. Pass the turn. Forbidden Mountain. Oh, nice. Move Minnie Mouse over. Becomes a 2-3. Takes out Robin Hood. Readies Gustav. Take out Hydra. And then Hydra takes out Peter Pan. Question mark. Actually, I think I'd want to take out the mini with that. Yep. That's interesting. Must have misread Gustav. We will take out the Forbidden Mountain. And then we will quest. We will put that on the bottom. We will quest. We will put that on the bottom. We will quest. 
put that on top, and then we will play Kakamora and pass turn. And then we will quest, cancel, quest, cancel, quest, cancel, quest. Let's see if it works this time. So that was a good game one. That was pretty good. I liked the curve out. Doesn't seem to want to work, so. We got a couple people, we got new players trying to figure out Pixelborn custom games and locations and Inklands and all that. Um, I think this game proves how much of a trap Gustav is. But let's see, let's look at our curve. Let's see, one drop, two drop, three drop, alter to find a four drop. We are going second, so. Oh, sweet. Better one drop. Perfect. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. I like this. I like this. And if we happen to draw into a, um, If we happen to draw into a four drop, that would be nice, but I think our one I think our one, two, three play, and then maybe and then go to a scry will be good. Inks a vault door and plays Akita. Okay. Oh, we got a better yep, so we go curse Merfolk pass. And then turn two we're not going to quest. 
because we want the piglet trigger. We want we want the piglet ability to activate. Ooh, Forbidden Mountain. Okay, this is a nice aggressive start. Uh, we'll go Minnie Mouse Spelunkin. Then play Piglet and pass. Yeah, they're getting a good bit of lore right now, but I think... So when we quest for five, we'll definitely be ahead. And then trade with the Kita, and then my Merfolk outraces the mountain, so... We'll see what they have. Lena Saberwing inked up. I I think that's new where they show what they inkwelled the pre during that turn. That's interesting. Agraba. Oh, they're going full on locations. Okay. So next turn, I'm afraid, um, unless we get a another inkable card, I'll have to inkwell the fish hook and then play bosses on a roll to set up the next turns. And I think I'm going to use Sir Hiss to try to take out those locations ooh including the wrench okay oh my goodness that's ridiculous that is a ridiculous amount of locations my friend okay hmm okay 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 Okay, I think we're going to do a bosses on a roll. We will put that on the bottom. We'll put this on top. Put that on the bottom. Put that on the bottom. Put that on... I think I put all those on the bottom. Uh, we'll take out... Ag we'll try to put some damage on Agraba. And hope they don't have removal. We will put down the, we'll put down Captain Hook first, and then we'll put down Eeyore. Minnie Mouse Spelunkin. Oh my word. Okay. Okay. No, whoa, no. That's, mm, okay, so that is, that is not how that works. So I need to report to Pixelborn the bug. That is very rude. And that's going to cost me the game.
Okay, so if I take out Tiana's palace, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I'll take out that. Yep. Ready up. Take out the palace. Take out Agrabah. <clears throat> and then we ink the fish hook. Play Eeyore and the followers. That's still not enough. So I don't I don't know how much there is that you can do about that. But that was a pixel born bug. That wasn't you clicked the wrong target. Yeah, I, I reported it. It's all good. I frame by frame did and you definitely clicked aggro, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, let's go to game three. And we'll do that. Go back to the main. And then I will be first player. Yep, that's a that's a that's a pixel born bug right there, but that's okay. And I just realized that I am talking to you directly, so I'm going to mute myself on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Turn one, turn two. We will alter these. One, two, three. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yep. And then a four, which is an empty spot, unfortunately. Five and six. Perfect curve out. Let's do it. We'll ink the puppy. We'll play the Pua and pass. I think actually, I think the play here is to play Cusco on turn three. Cusco's palace. The palace specifically built for Cusco. Yeah, I think that the, that's definitely the play here. wanting to race let's do it ink miago cusco's palace a palace specifically built for cusco i am more than happy to race right now
Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Shuffle the boop. Shuffle Pua back into the deck. And then I just keep drawing Inkables, put down Billy Bones, which is just a big old boy. And then a Robin Hood, and then we just keep cooking. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a big. <laughs> okay, we'll ink Joshua Sweet. We'll quest, and we will go Billy Bones Pass. Yeah, McDuck Manor is just massive. <laughs> That's just a massive, massive amount of willpower. Found where all the, I found where all the uh, locations were going. Oh, nice. Okay. Wait, four. That's two glitches, which is hilarious to me. Because <sighs> now I really don't want to challenge that because then it takes, Tinkerbell takes him out, which is not right. But, hey, we're here to have fun. And if only the cards worked the way that they should. But, hey, I'm not, blam I'm not blaming Babel. He does a lot of good work. Yep, take out the bones, because why, cause why wouldn't you? What? What? Um, okay, bup, 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 okay. Okay. And there it is. Okay. Mm hmm.
Okay. Boop. Three damage there. Quest. Yeah, we'll put that on top. Heart of Atlantis. Good, good games right there. <laughs> All right. Oh. Knife two, Kongolo, shark one. Yeah, those were really, really good games. I actually, I actually have quite a few questions for you. Yeah. Um, other than other than the bugs that occurred, uh, disregarding that. Yeah. Um. So, hold on. How can I share this image with you? First, first thing. Let me see. I've got an image. Copy, copy image. I'm gonna message this to you in Discord. You yeah. Can pull it up on your stream. Um. This is turn two of your first game. Yes. Uh, yes. So on this turn, you quested the Robin Hood. We like obviously you're trying to quest for Piglet on on three, right? For yeah. extra stuff. You quested Robin Hood here. I looked through the set. There's two cards that can kill Robin Hood on turn one. Only one of them kills it when he's exerted, right? Like, I think. So those two cards are like Baboom. I think that's one of them. That kills it when he's readied. Yes. But then there's a two mana three one rush stitch in a common. There is. Right? Is a common in the set? Yes. Did you think about playing around the stitch at all when um, questing that Robin Hood? To be honest, I didn't think of it, but when Do you think I it's correct too? Um I mean in game one probably. Maybe. I mean Okay. So if he happened to um, turn to Stitch, trade with Robin Hood, um, I still have a good amount of board presence. And sure. I'm still able to continue through. And Piglet kind of did it. He kind of did his secondary job, which is forced trades. Yes. Yep. Exactly. And so either way, Piglet did his job. Um if he didn't take care of Robin Hood or Piglet right away, then I was able to put down a third character and quest for a sure. lot. If he yep. does take out the Robin Hood or he babooms Piglet, um, 
Oh like yeah, it, I guess you would yeah. baboon piglet, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would baboon, baboon piglet, piglet. Not the Robin Hood. Yeah. So sure. Yep. And um. Yeah, that's kind of my. That was. If if I was thinking about Stitch, that's what it, that would have been my thought process. Okay. So you do you think it now now thinking about it, your answer is quest or not quest? Uh, it depends. It a uh, game one, I would quest. Um, yes, game. Okay, you'd still quest. You'd you'd make them show it to you first. If it was game yeah, two or three, yeah, I'd make you, them show had it. it. You'd play yeah. around it. Okay, that's fair. That's that's um, completely fair. If someone is willing to put a uh, stitch in as an un as one of their uninkables, then I respect it. <laughs> like I just like. I but there's I so think many people more. put too much value on. Not value. They don't put enough value on playing on inkable cards. If you're, if like if you put what most people consider too many uninkables in your deck, uh, and you draw a hand of like a lot of uninkables, then you just have to like you just have to play with less room for error that game, right? Exactly. Like, your ink has been decided for you. Uh, so I'm actually I I genuinely don't even count my inkables when I draft a deck. I don't. Oh, that's interesting. Don't. I. Uh, this site showed it to me. It told me I had eight, I think. Yeah. I literally, I don't even look at it. Um, we run a, we run a, like a kind of weekly, sometimes more, sometimes less than weekly draft league, out where I'm from. Yeah. Uh, and we we had it. We had one of our one of our finals games in draft. I had drafted thirteen or fourteen on inkables, I believe. I think it was thirteen. And my opponent in finals had drafted twenty one on inkables. Tell my word. <laughs> I mean, like, 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 if your uninkable, like, if your uninkables are good, and, and like, you're yeah. fine be having that be your gameplay, then absolutely go for it. Right, and and we now he didn't. I don't think he played all twenty one. I know he drafted twenty one. Um, I did play all thirteen of my uninkables, um, and we met in finals. So like, you know, mm -hmm. you can. There's there's room to play around that. Yeah. Um, my other my other question for you in the game, <clears throat> there's a couple of things with Ariel. Obviously, Ariel like missed a quest on one of your turns, um, which is like I I'm sure you realize that as soon as you hit the end turn button. Uh, and then but before that, so on turn three you had you had Cusco and Ariel in hand. Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of this one. This oh part. yeah yeah yeah. The the board was four. You both. You both had like what is essentially the same board, right? You both had two two twos. One of them quested for one. One of them quested for two. And on turn three, you played the palace, and yes. I think you did so trying to like acknowledge that you were the aggressor for the match. Yes. And like getting your lore out of that sooner. Did you consider playing Ariel there? Because uh -huh. Ariel being evasive like gets to trade into both of your opponents too. You get to choose that that happens. Yeah. I did consider it. Um, the reason why I put down Cusco's Palace is one to establish that I was the aggressor, and mm -hmm. also I noticed that uh, his deck had a lot lower strength. Um, okay. And like lower, like his, his strength, the strength of his characters were a lot lower mm -hmm. per cost, and so, sure. and I saw him with multiple evasives, so. I figured that the Cusco's Palace was more survivable. Sure. Than uh, Ariel, and um, that's why I put down the Palace first. That's that's funny that you describe it like that because that's exactly I couldn't hear you. I had your stream muted when mm -hmm. I was commentating it, but that's exactly what I said your opponent was doing to you was that your opponent had realized that your deck was very low. <laughs> strength based yep. and that they were playing locations out to try to win the game like that i think you were both doing that back and forth to each other yeah we both had similar decks in that context um, of like aggressive aggressive curve outs yes uh let me think the next the next thing you had the turn he put down mcduck manor and passed back to you you had ariel you had Ariel already in play. You played Billy Bones, right? Yes. And you quested your Ariel for one lore. Now, if I was, I thought that you were going to hit the McDuck Manor with your Ariel, mm -hmm. which would have um, set it to seven health because your Billy Bones plus Ariel was eight, and eight would kill it, and nine wouldn't. 
And I know, like, you said that you wanted to establish being the aggressor, but, like, your opponent got an extra two lore off of his McDuck Manor, while you only got an extra one lore off your aerial because it survived. Yeah, that was a misplay. Think... Okay, you... okay. Yeah. Um, and let me, there was something else with the aerial. I can't remember. There was some trade I didn't like the order of. Um, but I can't remember what it was. Hmm. Oh, I think it had to do... Your opponent had Gustav, right? Oh, Gustav, yeah. Yeah, I think it was like... And your opponent misplayed... I think you misplayed... Like, the turn that you took the Hydra... Not to kill the Gustav, right? Okay. I think you killed his location with it. I think that's what it was. And then... Um, which I think is a... I think it's a little bit greedy. I think it's fine to just take that kill the Gustav now. But you were kind of, like, acknowledging that, like, if he doesn't kill your characters back, then the Gustav doesn't ready, so it's okay to not kill it now. But then you, like, quested your Robin Hood. And yes. the Robin Hood, like, opened up a play where the Gustav gets ready, and then you cannot, you can no longer, like, hit Hydra into it and hit something else for six. Um, uh, it, was a, it was a weird play. It was a really weird play to have to see to play around because the mini didn't actually kill didn't actually kill Robin Hood on board yet because you, your opponent had to top deck another location which they did yep to hit into it um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's like I don't know I'm not I don't know if I'm saying that's a misplay it's an interesting play that I think requires more more thought into I just yeah. wanted to see what like what, what was going through your yeah. mind on so, that play so here's what was going through my head right so so this is actually so this was actually one of the plays that I was actually like pretty happy about and was like kind of hoping we'd talk about. But so the so Gustav, um, I was more than happy to let him mess around with Gustav. Um, so I saw the ad mini and I so I took out the location, right, knowing that he would have to top deck another location in order to take out my Robin Hood. That's why I quested with Robin Hood. Um, and I figured even if the situation of play location, move mini over, take out Robin Hood, ready Gustav, if Gustav challenges my Hydra, then I, then I basically clear their board. Right. Uh, and if Gustav quests, then I have Hydra to clear the board regardless. So either way, whatever he does with Gustav... I'm clearing the board or I'm questing for a bunch. So I was happy putting putting lore pressure on him for that. Would you label Gustav as a bad card? I yes. think I'm ready to put the bad card label on it. I don't think I was ready to last draft. So. Yeah, uh, Gustav is in the bad slash trap side for me. Okay, it definitely is a trap, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's just... Like, like at first glance, he seems really good, mm -hmm. but um, he doesn't trigger himself. Right. He's only one lore, and like, sure, there might be situations where you're able to like combo well with him, but it's just too much. It's it's. It's requiring too much in order to ready up a six six one. I I agree. I'll agree with that. I wasn't ready to agree with that when I put him in my deck, but I after after having played him and watching somebody else play him, because mm -hmm. I think I think that was like the best Gustav game, right? That anybody's gonna get probably. Like yeah. Della Della having to challenge into readying your Gustav, like that was like that was it. That was the most value Gustav is ever getting. Yep. And then, like, he had all the value with it. And I was like, cool, what's this card going to do now? The value was the one was, more. Quest for one. It just quests, like, all of your all of the cards you can draft quest for one. Yep. You might as well just take one that's not Gustav. Exactly. I I drafted 
um, in a similar vein, is it called Treasure Guardian today? It's a four mana six six. <laughs> yes, Treasure <laughs> Guardian. Don't laugh. I drafted two of them, and you I'm laughed. Sorry. That's no, no, it's fine. That's good. I wanted to, I wanted to see if it was good. It's not. And then I got a second one. I like when I see everybody pass them, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it looks good. My Treasure Guardian actually did very well in my game. Um, uh, it actually, it actually was very close to winning me the game. They put my opponent into a situation where like their top deck had to be a two lore character at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Uh. And it was, which is why I have to buy this round instead of not having to buy. Um, but I did, yeah, I did like Treasure Guardian on, moved it to like, I played a location on five and moved it there. And then swung into things. Yeah. And then I played a second one and it was like, it was okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. If, I don't know if it was worth the work that it took to get there. Yeah. It, it requires less work than Gustav and it's more of a sure. payoff than Gustav. I still think it's a bit too much work. It's a bit too much work for something that I can get in t two turns with Pirate's yes. Bane, and sure. that one has evasive and uh, pirate proof on top of it. So. <laughs> right. That's fair. Did the did the super rare Alice make its way to you in the draft? Yeah, two of them went by. I two of them went by. I passed the first one, all right? <laughs> and then I got the second one, and I read it again. Isn't this card in insane? Should this card not... Like, I know its body's low, but, like, the scenario I thought of where this card's insane is, like, when your opponent, no matter how far ahead they are, if you put them into, like, top deck a character, play a character mode, right? Mm -hmm. You just win. Like, yes. if you have an Alice on board. Right? Like, that's just a win condition. Like, otherwise, they have to, like, pass their turn and then draw two characters and play them both at the same time, and you're still going to kill one of them. Like, that seemed really good. And then, like, I looked, um, I lost I lost to someone with, like, three copies of Mr. Hiss and <laughs> two copies of Moana in their deck, and I was like, this Alice card, if I can get it out, that was the issue. It was like, I didn't get it out in time. But if you can get it out, it seems really good. I, I think there's so many characters that share a name in this set that that card might actually... That might be a snap pick. I don't know if it's something where... Um... Has, what, are your, what are your thoughts on yeah. Alice? Uh, so my thoughts on Alice is I've rated her as bad. Really? Uh, yeah, so... And the reason you said it is because of the body. And also, sure. she costs six ink. Which is a uh, lot. Yep. Um... And like you said, sometimes she's going to tap down multiple characters or exert multiple characters. But um, in what's in in that situation, say you were to exert down three Sir Hisses. Well, if you don't have you any evasives, <laughs> it's worthless anyway. This, this card says exert. I thought it said banish chosen character. Never mind. This card's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this card was broken. Have you seen how, how when I misread this card and I put different words on this card that it was like the most broken card in the set? Yeah, okay, okay, I'm back. I'm back. I agree with you. This card's bad. Okay, okay. I'm Like, my brain was like, 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 this person is kind of cuckoo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, okay, I see it now. This card yeah. does not say banish chosen. No, it's exert. <laughs> Exert. This if it was sucks. banished. If I, can't, if I can't kill the Mr. Hisses already, then this Alice isn't helping me. Exactly. I agree. Man, if that said that's banished. That's funny. I, I probably read it correct on the first time through and passed it, and then it came back to me in a different pack, and, mm -hmm. I, and, I, and I read it wrong, and I was like, this card's insane. Why'd I pass it earlier? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. Yeah, no. Where's there? There's a, there's a better card then heard that does the same thing in this set and it's an uncommon that being uh hydros uh which oh, yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah the hydros three is insane. yeah the three cost two 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 that exerts to exert yeah i'm a big i'm a big hydros fan. i agree with that mm -hmm. like that one's good like that one i'll play with I think that was everything I made note of during yep. your game. 
think that was everything. It looks like our other match just wrapped up though, right? Is that all of them? Uh, we have one more that we're waiting on, and I just gave them the oh, five-minute yeah. warning. Now, this is fun. I like this. Uh, I may need to start it a little bit earlier. It's starting to get a little bit late for me, but... I it is a little late. I think for... I, th well, I think it'll speed up because for a lot of us, like, this is our first draft. This is first a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, like, for example, one of our players is heading out now, so... But, uh... Sure. I'm thinking like we start yeah. like half an hour earlier or whatever. But yeah, this is this is fun. This is a great way to learn about the set. Great way to talk about it. Uh, let me ask. Sure. Let's uh, let's first let's plug the draft guide, the Nive Ultimate Draft Guide for. Oh. Uh, yes, that is coming. Inkland. Yes, that is coming out Thursday. Um tons of analysis tons of data that i've been sifting through uh been play testing uh this set for a week now a little over a week now wait what day is it tuesday it is tuesday oh no i need to record and edit this guide okay um <laughs> <laughs> i was i was gonna ask if there's anything if there's anything in the guide you've changed your mind on now that you're like two drafts at, at least two drafts yeah two drafts that i know of are there any cards that that you think that you've rated incorrectly, or do you feel pretty good about all your ratings? So far? Uh, so far I feel pretty good about them. Um, uh, Maui's fish hook has gone down a little bit for me because I thought it was really good in every deck, and I'm learning that it's only good in most decks. Sure. Uh, Forty Born just asked on my channel. Uh, how's the Sorcerer's Tower in a list with zero brooms? Uh, pretty good, in my opinion. I I also agree. I think it's good. I played against it, and um, there was there was a lot of situations where if I if I didn't like take out a character, like I was ahead and being the aggressor, but if I didn't take out something, my opponent would win the game by just putting all their characters there and, and questing yep. them all with the bonus more. It's like it's one of the very few sources of burst damage that we have. Oh yeah. It's quite expensive burst damage, but it is a source of burst damage. The uh on on the first round uh of this draft um I uh there were three brooms on board and I was just like please don't play tower, please don't play tower. <laughs> and they played tower and I'm like no. Because it was the ones that became three fives when they were at a location. Yeah, yeah. And so, and so just out of nowhere for three ink, we got three extra lore and six extra strength. That's that's kind of nuts. Um, I, I, the first, the card got played against me and I was like, this guy doesn't have a single brew. This card sucks. And then, like, I realized it was, it was a massive threat. Oh, yeah. Um, it's... I, I would rate it highly. I don't know that it's an instant pick. It's it's probably never like your first pick in a pack. It like, is. It's within the first five picks for sure. It's I I, I yeah. It's definitely within the yeah yeah first five is, is like basically first half of the pack. I definitely agree yeah. with that. It's in the first um, half for sure. Maybe the first quarter, depending on the strength of the pack. Especially if you can pick up a broom. Like, if you pick up the tower, then you can, like, pick up brooms after that and rate mm -hmm. them higher than you would without it. Yeah. I don't I don't think I'd do that the other way around, though. I don't think I would play... I don't think I would pick up the brooms first in hopes of finding a tower later. Yeah. Like, yeah. I wouldn't... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't grab brooms mm -hmm. expecting the Sorcerer's Tower. I would grab... I would grab the Rush broom on its own. Just because it's a... It's a four-four rusher, but uh, I saw that one go around at all. yeah. But uh, yeah, the three-cost one that gets bigger at a location. I don't think I'd grab those unless I was either playing a lot of locations or I had the the sorcerer's tower. I agree with I agree with both of those statements. Yes. But uh, if I recall correctly, I rated the sorcerer's tower a good. 
in my ratings that I have posted on my uh, Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, let me actually look that up. Here, I can look that up real quick. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> That's not uh, why does why Google Sheets why? Yeah, I rated it as a good with um, the comment. The broom interaction is useful, but every spare two ink you have gives you extra lore. Sign me up. I think there's a lot of a lot more spare ink in the later game than than in previous drafts too. Like I think. Mm -hmm. In set one and two, I don't think I would have been happy. You know, if we had locations then, I don't know if I would have been happy, like, paying to move my characters there. Because I always felt like I had something to be doing, like, to use my mana efficiently in draft. But here, there, there are a lot of turns where you play off curve that, like, mm -hmm. moving to a location sometimes helps. Like, they, there are a lot of turns where you just, like, move to the blank locations. I don't know why. Because uh, there's nothing else to do with your mana for the turn. And you yep. might as, you might might as, as well, well in, case, yeah. in case you hit your... What's the what's the song that like readies your characters and gains oh. lore? Oh, uh, uh, I've got a dream. I've got a dream. Yeah, yeah. So Ooh. you might as yeah. well like put your characters there early in case you draw into that later. Yeah, and like if you have a Moana born leader or like, actually, I think those are the only two cards that like are happy with just random characters at random places. Yes. Yep. But, uh, I mean, yeah, just there's a lot of spare ink around, and fortunately, there's a lot of ink sinks, so, works out well. I agree with that. Oh, it's past time. Uh, huh, yeah, huh. it is. They're still, they're still going. They're in turns. <laughs> Do we play turns in our draft? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do. <laughs> I don't know who's moderating that. <laughs> we want this to be as realistic as possible. No. <laughs> Let me see if I can spectate him. Oh, yeah, I can. Perfect. He, he told me he was making his game spectatable. Yep. I guess I should have hopped in as well. Oh, wow. They're like... Wow. That's a... That's a... That's a board. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me hop in online. <laughs> How do you spectate a game? Do you just go to custom and enter there? Yeah, no, you go to oh, custom you and you just press spectate. Blank. Yep. I, I think mean, I know the code they use. Yes. Yeah, but if you just hit spectate, it'll give you the list. Oh, oh it'll show you the list. Yeah, it'll give you a list of all the games uh, that allow. I should have hopped in here. Yep, but uh, it looks like they just finished oh, okay there was <laughs> it didn't the, the join game button did not work actually crashed yeah. my pixel board oh. uh, but that's probably why <laughs> because the yeah. game ended but there were there were six characters on both sides that's crazy i hate those those like we're both in a deadlock mm -hmm. board state oh, those are my favorite board states <laughs> <laughs> i i tend to play them correctly but i always feel like i'm not going to mm -hmm. uh, that that frustrates me. I usually just wait for my opponent to mess up. <laughs> sure. I I am better at playing correctly, right? The less like the less options there are on the board, the less opportunities there are to misplay. And like the easier it is to see what happens multiple turns ahead, right? So I I prefer smaller boards that I can calculate further out easily. That yeah. is fair. But, but you you like the larger boards because on the opposite side your opponent also has more options. If you give them more options, they're more likely to commit a mistake. Yep. All right. Final round. I make enough mistakes on my own without even having more options. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it you, me, knives? Yep. And then... I can see all the good cards that I passed now. See them used effectively. I think we were sitting next to each other, so. Pro, I, I, I don't know where everybody was, but I, I can't I remember. Saw, I saw at least one card that I should have taken that I have a bigger appreciation for, so. Maybe you have it also. I don't know. We'll see. It's all we'll see. Twice. 
<laughs> well, yep, those are the final pairings for the night. Um, no need to report this one. Just play and finish up. Yeah, yeah that works. Um... Okay, I will... Um... Oh, who's that? Let me see. Oh. Um... With the I'm bee. playing Emily this round. That's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you she's to, my you wife. Me to create the lobby. Yeah, um, yeah. She, she's got one frozen. Is that what you want to use, babe? Yeah. Yeah. She'll. All she'll lowercase. Use, all lowercase frozen. And yeah. are we both? Are we both checking the first yeah, player both, button? Yeah, both. Both. Cool. Uh, check first player and um, whatever the attendee audience thing is. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Allow spectators. Uh, yeah. What do you want to do, Nive? Uh, do you have a, a name you want to use or? Uh, I like knife. Knife? Knife sounds great. <laughs> sure thing. GLHF. GLHF. Buffet boo. Yep. Alright. And then I am going to mute you because I like talking. Alright. So we are going first. We do not have a one drop. However, we do have a pretty good two, three, four, five. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to get rid of this. Try to find our one drop. We do not find it. But we do have we have a better two drop in Piglet. So that is what we are going to work with. Alright, we will start with Inky and Apula and pass in the turn. And we're gonna ink in Neverland. And then we're gonna play a piglet. And then we're gonna pass the turn. an aerial play a wildcat and pass the turn <laughs> I like this curve out because then we can turn for Josh sweet uh, turn five, Captain Hook, and then turn six, Tinkerbell, dig in, ooh, a distract. Oh, don't baboon my piglet. Please don't baboon my piglet. Don't baboon my little boy. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Ursula, I like it. I like it. I like it. That's interesting. Double challenge into sweet. Yeah, you know it. A rush character. Got the stitch. Ah, oh, Moana. Make way, make way.
Yep, I'm happy with that. Ooh, how far I'll go. Very nice play. Very nice. Very powerful play. Okay, so they have the stitch, so we need to keep that in mind. We need to respect need to respect the stitch. Hubby. Okay. Got that location to trade? Oh, that's not even a trade. Ugh. That's okay. Ouch. I misread that entirely. <clears throat> Kick, loud kicker, all right. How much lore is that? Nine? Eek. Ha <laughs> ha!
has a much bigger board than me. And now he can activate Cubby. But what we could do is give Eeyore plus three strength and bop Nottingham and still threaten a bunch of damage. Alternatively, I can play the Rapier, give Captain Hook, Challenger one, take that out, give him evasive, make him trade with Sir Hiss. There's a lot of things I could do here. fine okay Sure, sure. Okay, we're gonna draw a bunch of cards. We're gonna draw a card here. We are gonna draw a card here.
Oh. Oh, it's one. Oh, it's one. Alright, so we have Chernabog on if we ever draw it. I am now threatening victory. has to take out two lords worth of characters so he can so he can take out the Eeyore and the Tinkerbell yep he's gonna take out the Eeyore probably gonna use the Lithos to take out the Tinkerbell yep that's smart and quest for two okay Okay. Okay. Let's see what we draw. I think I got him game one. Yep, all right. Actually, the wrench is pretty decent here. Okay. <laughs> let's let <laughs> let's see how this turns out. Again, we're missing a turn four play, but that's okay. Well, I guess our turn four play would be the wrench. Ah, we got slightly. We now have a curve all the way up. Fantastic.
Ink in Razul. Oh. Now we get to see how locations really affect everything. Yep, take out Neverland. Okay. And then next turn we'll play Eeyore. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. We will go... That. Hmm, then... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. So it's twelve. One, two. So I have a. Th Two, th six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably a mistake leaving that open, but is what is.
Ooh, okay, Cloud Kicker. Okay. Yep, that was a mistake. Come on, bosses on a roll. Come on. Ah. Oh. I will go first. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Hmm, I think. I think that's the right play.
Let's see here. That's rough. Distract's pretty rough there. We can play Billy, Bo <clears throat> Billy Bones, though. Now he he has he has to challenge my Dewey. And so now my Chernabog is down to six. Here we go. So his dog duck has to take out Billy Bones. Man, I wish Chernabog dealt like was able to like ready on taking outs. I have a two turn clock, he has a three turn clock. Three for one. Wow.
That significantly slows down my clock. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. And now I guess we stare at each other for a little bit. Yep. Yup. Yup. Yep. GG's. That is it. Well, I hope you all had a fantastic night. I know I did. Thank you for sticking with me. And I hope you have a fantastic 